ये तो बस शुरुआत है यू विल बी गेटिंग मेनी मोर इंड एक्सपीरियंसिस ऊबर टावर रिसर्च जी पी एम सी एम एक्स कॉन्फ्लुएंट इंट्यूट रूब्रिक एंड कंपनीज लाइक माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एमेजॉन ऑल्सो एंड ऐसा नहीं है कि ये सब क्रैक करिए नहीं कुछ क्रैक करिए कुछ अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिली बट नहीं हो पाई क्रैक कुछ अपॉर्चुनिटीज ही नहीं मिली इवन आफ्टर हैविंग रिक्रूटर्स नंबर एंड क्या गलतियाँ मैंने करी क्या रेज्यूम में मिस्टेक्स क्या एक्चुअली में कम्युनिकेशन मिस्टेक्स एंड क्या इंटरव्यू मिस्टेक्स सब बताऊंगा हर एक इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस के अंदर वी विल स्टार्ट ऑफ विद कॉइन बेस बट बिफोर दैट अ क्विक थिंग आफ्टर द लास्ट इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस पीपल वर एक्चुअली ओवरवेल्ड एंड उनको काफी लग रहा था भाई हमसे नहीं हो पाएगा अगेन आई एम रेफरिंग द सेम थिंग की ऊबर कॉन्फ्रेंट और रूब्रिक व हार्डेस्ट राउंड आई एक्चुअली गिव सो obviously they will be hard others are actually easy starting off with coinbase again i'm going to tell you every problem which you see here again these are the ones which i actually were do new that okay they can come start off with the actual problem statement but uske pehle just what happened in the beginning recruiter called now the big question how did he call me so as i told it's good to have connections when i say connections connection with the people who are actually thriving so obviously i had connections with the folks who were actually giving interviews who had already given interviews for coinbase so again passing failing is it is a matter i got the contact of recruiter i whatsapped him i emailed him he didn't reply i tried to cold call him that's the worst thing you could do i simply whatsapped him and this was the guidance by one of my friends and again when i say friends my friends are actually at 4 5 plus experience than me so again make good friends so with that i got the number now in the beginning he just told me about coinbase but before that he asked me what do you know about coinbase and why you want to join it because i uh, guess again um it's a company which many people try to join because of comp and i will tell why they have a fixed compensation no matter what you cannot bargain no matter what your previous compensation is even if you're earning 11 lakhs you still be getting the fixed compensation again uh there are multiple components i forgot the breakdown but it is 72 around uh but you can say 70 plus is what coinbase offers now after that the first thing and the biggest where the maximum people get filtered out is its code signal round so basically in the online test which they have it has two components one is the code signal also called as online assessment round another is just evaluate your work style or ethics round now to handle this round it is very easy like to handle this specific round it is very easy <laughs> just make sure that you portray yourself as being good brave charming collaborative eager to learn and hard working if you brave or if you portray all these qualities in the mcqs you are good to go now in the course in the round it is one of the hardest again i am repeating it is one of the hardest on assessment round you will ever encounter because here you cannot you cannot ask anyone you cannot even have this much noise you cannot even like do anything even if you move your head around you are gone again this was the thing which many people told me previously that it will have four problems and the time will be 90 minutes the biggest thing here is that every problem next problem will be unlocked the moment you solve the first problem the 90 minutes for four problems is actually very 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 less and again uh, the problem you will see okay you you solve the first problem then you will open the next one i solved two and a half um problem and again like when i say two and a half just one test case of that third problem was actually remaining but even if you solve with three problem or like two and a half again when i say two and a half for me i'm not sure exactly how much two and a half should be there but i solved two and the last one the, like sorry the third one was just one test case was remaining for that so in total after four if you even solve 2 and a half you should be good to go although they have a scoring system now what these questions are based on they are kind of if you focus lld based which means that one problem next will be a follow up next will be a follow up next is the follow up same theme the theme can be banking system inventory system or file system again they can multiple but this was asked from my friends and file system was asked from me now biggest thing again when i say how the questions are just very simple add user delete user up, apply some operations make them so like one of my friends who was asked this question it was based on arrays maps and binary search uh, for me file system it is very standard very normal right you know it i uh, usually solve it via try but that's the biggest thing if you go and try to think okay i will write the most optimal code you are done 
the time i told again it is very less you cannot solve everything in time make sure that you focus on speed rather than accuracy or time complexity because speed matters here a lot now considering this is done you will be informed by the recruiter that you will have the next three rounds now all of these are eliminatory round although for me the recruiter schedule these two rounds first and then post these two are done this will be scheduled but what i read as in the interview experience is that you will be having one round if you pass that then next round if you pass that then next round okay then for me the round one was technical execution round now their rounds are named as technical execution round and domain interview round so technical execution round it's a simple you know a more of dsa based in this usually what happen is you encounter problems like i will show you what problems so here's a list of all the problems which you might encounter make it screenshot it do whatever you want you could encounter a list of transactions pagination kind of problem you could encounter again if it is you are having a bit high level than sd2 you might have design questions also but sd2 there is no high level design questions uh, so you can have design stock exchange uh, check credit card fraud uh, crypto or slack slack is very important now it is outdated 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 uh, then very important problem currency exchange one i'll show you actual thing also later on but uh, design in memory file system connect for as a game exchange rates from one case to another design system for ordering stocks iterators very important problem currency exchange very important problem and then again a memory file system uh web file system again i already covered all this before then currency conversion you see that this is one such interview in which the old problems repeat a lot you will encounter that many people actually get the same problem so it is very much important that you should know all these problems okay then currency exchange connect for design snack and as you can see like again um i'll focus on this currency exchange one but uh, here usually people try a lot of brains apply bellman ford and stuff but make sure hold on many people recommend it that using dfs is much more beneficial than actually putting a bellman ford i'll show you also uh, and and then then you can see the later ford again if i show you that very important one is actually a uh, pagination technique cursor based file based so i hope that you will prepare your best and me again you never know that you know everything or not so again i refer chat gpt and i knew that okay what all follow up see here i made my own follow ups what could be possible because here is a possibility everyone recommended that okay you should know the follow ups so, so itself i see you see i made my own follow ups i try to solve them i try to ask take help from gpt and stuff and just try to see okay how you can do it next important question which people usually encounter is iterator design multiple iterators they ask you a hell lot of iterators that okay given this given this and this is a very common problem if you go to coinbase stat question iterator such problem is very important but as a follow up they will ask you many such iterator like again as you can see there's a list of iterator which keeps on going keeps on going which coinbase can actually ask and again there are a lot of iterator which they can ask and it is very common for them many during out of the same question again i told you this they can be a currency question also i also i recommend that you should go ahead with backtracking plus dfs approach because many people told that even if they told the bellman ford approach which is actually the most optimal approach still they did not get <laughs> the call so yeah you should try dfs plus backtracking if the person wants you bellman ford just you can tell him tell like tell him the bellman ford current for game again important you see that be prepared with this question because there is a high possibility coinbase repeats their question a lot cool then buy and sell stocks again important problem uh then we have knapsack usually in this they have a they have a concept of you know they will not ask you knapsack as a dp knapsack so they will ask you a greedy approach so yeah be prepared with a corresponding greedy approach as well now again they has been multiple follow ups to make it as a topological sort problem so also make sure that you are making sure you can cover all the followable all the possible follow ups and ultimately the file system again file system i will highly recommend go in the brute force approach or you can say simple hash map approach if you encounter this is in an interview sorry in an online assessment if in an interview go with a try approach now for me uh popot ho gaya what happened is uh, i thought considering everyone is asked the same question i might also be asked the same question but in technical execution round i was asked a question which was based on string some manipulation of that and again you are given some logs you have to infer some logs like you have some given log logs log, like logs and if you, if you know that whenever any program runs so you get some logs uh, error logs warning logs all that stuff you have to 
like structure them, analyze them, apply some string operation on them and apply multi operation on them. So my problem was this and I was applying a simple naive string manipulation to it. Okay, I will just simply break it down, split it and do all that stuff. But the person wanted, I should apply regex. I did not know regex exact stuff at that moment. So he asked me, okay, you can simply do a Google. That's easy for this again, in this stuff, you can Google stuff. But no matter what, you have just one hour. If you don't know, if you Google, you will waste your time. And obviously my regex was not that strong. I was struggling on that portion. And again, he wanted me to put or use regex only. So there a lot of time got wasted. And again, ultimately he wanted to ask me three more follow-ups. I could only cover two and a half out of four. And I knew that the, the, like the things have gone bad because I've wasted a lot of time in this regex portion. Okay, I was already demotivated. In the next round, again, why I'm telling all this is because again, not every round, everything is based on luck. What if I could have gone the same problem, which I actually encountered or I saw or, or, or I prepared, I would have cracked it. But here, huh, I did not even think of, okay, they will ask any question, which is not only code. Because for everyone else, it was the same question. I was like, okay, it, it will be the same question. Now, for the domain interview round, uh, they simply asked me exact same problem as I saw, as I showed you, uh, cursor limit offset. Again, I had prepared very well for that. I was answering all, all, all his questions, all the follow-ups, but still he was bringing up, like no matter how many things you answer, he was bringing up the next follow-up, which I could not even think of. But again, after the, after discussion, I went, I, I, I went like, like that it went decent, not that bad as how the last round went. So after these two rounds, uh, the recruiter called and they told that, okay, the first round went pretty not good. And the second round went decent, uh, but they can proceed to the next round, but they were down leveling. So there is IC4, which is called as SD2. Uh, it is IC4 at Coinbase. So I applied for IC4, but they could not proceed with IC4. They were saying, okay, I can proceed with IC3. And that is ultimately what happened. And again, uh, for that, I did not give HR round because obviously I'm already at uh, SD2 position. So why I would actually go ahead and down level myself. And that's it. Uh, that was the experience for Coinbase. Again, I showed you all the problems which you might, in, you might encounter. And I will highly, highly, highly recommend no matter what. Make sure this is the biggest challenge here. The interview, there's a very high possibility that you will encounter exact same problems. I showed you all, everything along with the problems which I could think of. So make sure to take screenshot of everything. Again, I will not put PDFs and stuff because these got deleted. But yeah, I hope you guys got it. And again, don't feel demotivated. As I mentioned earlier also, only Uber, Confluent and Rubrik were the hardest ones. I will not recommend, I, I will not say this is the hardest one. Obviously, there's no way I could have known, like known regex because again, who will remember regex and I haven't even used regex that much. So, okay, blunder happens and that's what, what called us luck. So again, don't be demotivated. You will get many opportunities, many things, but the biggest thing which you can learn from this thing is make sure to explore as much as possible, collect the resources, make sure that you know what is the biggest triggering point in any specific company and also to get the number. Bye-bye.